Sand Land, the land of sand. Hello and welcome everybody, Chin Chin. I'm greeting uh, springtime on the 1st of March. The first official day of spring, even though it's bloody cold outside and the world outside is even colder and crueler. So there's not much to celebrate. Still, I thought, you know, I'll give you some, maybe some entertaining insight in one of my preferences. Um, movie quotes okay my three favorite movie quotes okay and it's it's popular culture you know it's, it's things that you pick up along the way as you grow up and they stick with you and they stick so much that until this day i keep repeating them and, my, and one of them makes my wife go crazy because she has to participate in the conversation but you will see because that one is on spot number one okay so let's start with spot number three a um, movie called Midnight Run from the mid 80s, late 80s, I think 87, uh, with uh, Dennis Farina and Robert De Niro. And there's a there's a moment in the movie, very short moment, a very short quote as well, um, where Dennis Farina, who plays Jimmy Serrano, the mafia boss, okay, he's calling through somewhere. Um, to his guys, to the, his soldiers, you know, the, the, some tough guys that are working for him. Two guys, they're sitting in the bar and Jimmy Serrano, the boss, just calls through and wants to find out what's going on. And these two guys are all, you know, on their toes to, you know, because the boss is calling, okay? So the boss calls, one of them picks up and this is what Jimmy Serrano, Dennis Farina says. Is this moron number one? Put moron number two on the phone. And I always say that. And in sales, I do a lot of um, calls, okay? So, so sometimes I just I just remember this this quote: "Is this moron number one? Put moron number one, number two on the phone, will you?" And then I, I love that quote. And, and the way that Dennis Farina, the late great Dennis Farina, is acting is fantastic as a mafia boss there. Um, and so Chin Chin, Dennis Farina, God bless you. Spot number two. Now, spot number two is, uh, is a more recent movie, 2009, Inglorious Bastards, okay? Quentin Tarantino, masterpiece. And my namesake is playing in the movie, Christoph Waltz, uh, the Austrian Viennese born actor. He plays this Nazi hotshot uh, Hans Landa, okay? And in the first uh, shot of the movie, Hans Landa is visiting a, a, a uh, house of a French farmer in, 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 in the countryside France okay and he's obviously very intimidating he's looking for you know people hiding in, in um, uh, Jewish people hiding in in the uh, in the house of this French farmer okay so he's, he's very uh, you know very creepy and very uh, you know you don't want this guy in your house right so the French farmer and his family are all upset and that here Hans Landa is sitting down and the French farmer, as a Frenchman would say, uh, would do, would like to, you know, greet him with some, greet him, welcome him, uh, or be out of courtesy, um, offering him a glass of wine. And instead of that wine, Hans Landa takes milk, drinks it, and then looks around at the family. And in French, uh, he says, so my favorite movie called, quote is coming from Hans Landa. And uh, he says to the form, addressing the former and his family, he says, Monsieur l'appétit, à votre famille, à votre vache, je dis bravo. Basically, Monsieur l'appétit, to your family and to your cows, I say bravo. And then puts that squirky smile uh, that only Christophe Waltz can do at the end. This quote, I love it is um, so weird and so utterly well played and um, so much uh, the character of this 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 Nazi general that Christoph, Christoph Waltz is playing is fantastically played so um, the whole movie is is absolutely stunning okay and on spot number one spot number one is my favorite movie of all time the most inspirational for me Jaws, okay, Jaws, Steven Spielberg, 1975, actually done in 1974, but released in 1975, and it's not the Indianapolis speech, it's not even, we're going to need a bigger boat, okay, no, none of those, 
It's the dinner scene, the dinner scene where Brody, the head of uh, police, is sitting at the dinner table with his wife, and all of a sudden, Hooper comes in, the, the, uh, uh, the professional guy from the Yorkshire Brownific Institute, um, and he's trying to give advice to Brody, trying to tell him that, you know, at the dinner table, as a, he, comes, he bursts in suddenly and he says, you know, probably sits down, drinks a wine together with Brody, who is drunk at this stage, the chief of police is drunk, you know, he's full of problems and, you know, how to get rid of the shark and the issues. And then Hooper says, well, one of the solutions is to cut the shark open, which is a weird thing, like, why would you, to see what's inside, you know, is it the shark that they're looking for because they caught the shark? They're not sure if that's the shark they're looking for. So cutting it open would reveal the inside because the, the digestion system of the shark is slow. And that's the conversation, how it goes. So it's an awkward conversation to have and, and everybody feels kind of, strange about it and then and then Brody just uh, takes a sip and, and, and suggests that you know let's have one more drink and then cut the shark open and that's where my favorite quote starts because then Ellen Brody his wife is reaching over to him grabs his arm and this is where my wife has to join and says Martin can you do that I can do anything I'm the chief of police God bless Ray Scheider. Um, I can do anything, I'm the chief of police. The way he says it, the way he acts it, and Lorraine Gary, who acts uh, as, um, as his wife, and, and Richard Dreyfus, they're doing an equally beautiful job in this dinner scene where this is my favorite movie quote, okay? So, can you do that, Martin? I can do anything. I'm a chief of police. And he's sipping a red wine. So in style I say thank you very much. Um, just hopefully a little bit of an entertaining insight into my three favorite movie quotes. Thanks very much and um, chin chin. Take care. Bye bye.